In today's Photoshop lesson, I want to show you how to do perspective correction in Adobe Camera Raw and in Photoshop using the perspective crop tool. You may have to straighten photos of jigsaw puzzles, documents, signs, buildings, artwork, could be lots of things. And this is a quick, easy, accurate way to do it. So let's start off in Photoshop. Here we go. Here's an image right here. And on this image, what we want to do is make a square photo out of this angled photo. So normally what we would do is use the crop tool. Now there's two crop tools. We got the crop tool and the perspective crop tool. In this case, we would use the perspective crop tool. And all we have to do is go over here and draw a box around this photo. Now you can see the corners are off but we can just pull these corners down using this perspective crop tool and it works pretty well we just pull down like that I can double click or I can click the checkbox up here so I'll click that and there we have it we got ourselves a nice square image okay that's one way to do it and that is using the perspective crop tool in Photoshop now let's go to bridge and in Bridge, we'll bring up another photo. Let's do this one. It's a raw file. And we'll use a tool in Bridge that we can use. And it's right here. It is called the Transform tool. So we'll click on that. And when we do, if you look over here, you can see the word Transform came up. And then it has Upright underneath it. And then the first one says Off, Disable Upright. Second one is an auto apply balance perspective correction. Second one, third one I guess, levels apply only level correction. Here's the next one, vertical apply level and vertical perspective correction. And then finally, there's the fourth one and it's full apply level, horizontal and vertical perspective correction. But the one we really want to use is this last one with the four sticks. We're going to click on that. And we're going to go to our photo, and all we have to do is draw some lines. I'm just clicked in that corner, and I just kind of pull this line. I'm looking for something that would be on the top of the photo. Now, here's one that would be on the bottom. I see these kind of black lines I'm following. That, see, so that made some perspective change. Now I'm going to click on this black line over here. I'm going to draw a line down there. And finally, there's another one right here I'd say it's pretty close so let's just give it a little help we'll put the fourth one in right there okay there we have it now if I get I'm gonna hit the letter C for the crop tool and I'm gonna go ahead and try to crop this even all the way around with the frame around it let's see if I get it pretty close to even all the way maybe here something like that and there you have it I'll hit enter perspective has been corrected on this okay and before we go this since we're in Adobe Camera Raw you may want to make some adjustments to it some quick adjustments might be to set the white balance I'm going to tap the letter I that brings up the eyedropper tool or they call it the white balance tool and there's something that should be white I would say is the writing in these words right here well let's see if it's really off if I check her forehead now I'm looking up here over here where RGB values are RGB so we'll be looking up there and I'm gonna go down and just put this on our forehead into 157 145 155 the numbers actually got bigger at the end that's not good so the white balance is off I'm gonna go with this white balance tool click inside that R and sure enough it warmed it up let's see if that helped her skin tones 173 143 and 130 it helped it a lot so let's get the before and after. I'm going to click over here. This is a little box you should know. This shows what the current changes are in this particular tab. So if I hit the letter P, it takes it back to the very beginning. Okay. And you can see that, sure enough, we've added, we warmed it up. You, uh, another quick thing you might want to do is get the J tool, which is also called the radio filter. J is the shortcut. And add some... Oh, clarity is always fun. Down to these letters down here, maybe make them a little more contrasty so they stand out a little bit. Um, anyway, you can play around with this all you want. 
while you're in Adobe Camera Raw. And then we could um, say done. Well, if we say done, that that just makes it means it's finished, but it doesn't do anything. We can open it up in Photoshop, or we can go all the way over here, and this is the save image, and we can actually save it as a JPEG or whatever kind of file you want. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you is something in Photoshop, and let's go back to Photoshop, and it's this other image. Now you can see this was taken at at Dali in St. Pete, and it's got the same problem, but now here we are in Photoshop, and we notice... I'll get a guide, pull this over from the ruler over there. Control R brings up the ruler. We can see that the sides aren't straight. They're crooked. The top's not going to be straight. We'll try to straighten those out. Okay, but we are in Photoshop. But if you're in Photoshop and it's, and you want to fix it here, there's a way to do it too. Uh, before we do that, let me do a Control J. There we go. Now we have another layer. That way we can do a before and after. We can do a filter. And we could go to Camera Raw. Now, if you want to make this a smart object, you can do that too. But I just basically wanted to show you how we do this perspective. Now, a lot of the tools are missing here, but the perspective, the transform tool, is still there. So that's good. We can just click on it, and we're going to use the four little lines. It's called the Guided Tool. So all we're going to do is draw those four lines. There's one to the top. I'm going down to the bottom, put one on the bottom, that helped there. Do the sides, left side, one for the right side, that should straighten this all out for us. Okay. So in, there's no crop tool here, we have to actually go back to Photoshop. So after we think we got it straight, we can just say okay, and you notice this will take us back to Photoshop. Now the photo should be straight. Let's get the regular crop tool. Actually, we can use the perspective crop tool. Let me show you that we have the perspective crop tool selected, and we can still make a, a decent crop of this. Uh, we don't have to move the little corners around. It just makes a squared crop. If we want to, we could move the corners around. I'm going to double click on the inside. That will go ahead and crop it out. I'll make it full screen. You can see it did a pretty good job of straightening it out. Let's draw, let's go to the ruler. I'm going to click in the ruler and drag this guide over. Let's put it up against one of these poles. And you can see it did a pretty good job of making the pole straight. So, not too bad. Okay, and then I'll just show you one thing before I go. And that is, <laughs> if I want to put that, remember it had like a white border around it? We can add that too. It had a little shortcut, a little action. If I hit the Shift F9 on my computer, you can see it puts a little white border around it. And I can even add a little stroke to it. And Shift F8. And now it adds a little shadow. That's it. I just wanted to make sure you understood how that perspective correction could work in Adobe Camera Raw or in Photoshop. I hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching.